Welcome back to Score on Business. Remember, scorenashville.org. Our next guest is Dan Arnoff, and Dan owns FranNet of Tennessee. So, the, he ass, they assist, I'm getting word wrapped. They <laughs> ass, you assist prospective entrepreneurs, and rather than figuring out everything and inventing a business on their own to help uh -huh. them find a franchise that might be a good fit. Exactly. For them. Right. Okay. Right. And and so when I'm really glad to have you here. Glad to be here. And yeah, because you know, buying a friend there's a lot th if it is the right fit, mm -hmm. a franchise provides a lot of good things. Uh, the the sure. good ones are time tested and if if they execute reasonably well, they'll do well. So what are some, t you know, when they're thinking about a franchise, when they're thinking about starting a business or a franchise, uh -huh. what do they need to know about franchising? Well, you know, comically we say franchising is kind of a corporate halfway house. It's yeah. somewhere in the middle between starting your own business and working for someone else. Yeah. What I would say is if you're looking for a proven system, structure, um, training, ongoing support, brand recognition, um, a culture of teamwork, you're going to love being a part of a franchise system. On the other hand, if you need complete control over all aspects of the business, mm -hmm. you like to start things from scratch, you don't necessarily want to follow rules, you're going to feel way too boxed in with a franchise. Right. Yeah. So when I think about franchising and what I know about there are some awesome awesome opportunities mm -hmm. and some that aren't quite as much and and one thing that you really bring to the game is you've been in the industry for a long time mm -hmm. you know them backwards and forwards tell us a little bit about what some of the mistakes that people can make and how sure, you work sure. with, how you and your team work with them to prevent that. By all means. You know, I think probably the biggest mistake that people make is they don't speak with enough current franchisees. So if they're looking at a concept, yeah. call six to ten franchisees that are operating the business. Get to know them. Ask them what is their secret sauce? What makes yeah. you successful? Tell me the good and bad. How much money are you making? Um, how's the support been with the franchise? And probably the most important question, if you had to do it over again, would you buy that franchise? Yes. Okay. Another mistake is um, thinking that you need industry relevant experience to be successful in a mm -hmm. franchise. And um, surprisingly, you know, most franchisors prefer that you don't have industry relevant experience. Really? With the exception of a, a restaurant, yeah, most other categories, yeah. they want folks that are willing to be coached and follow a system. Yeah. You know, because you know some people, if they've been in a particular industry, maybe because of ego or you know, I've yeah. been there, I've done that, they make that fatal mistake of not following the system, and that's why you're buying a franchise. Right, you're you know, buying something that's you know, So for instance, you know, somebody that has been in the teaching profession, you know, you might think that that could be a great venue to go into a tutoring franchise. I'm um, not saying that, that that won't always happen, but mm -hmm. what the franchisor is looking for is somebody that wants to build a large business, that is willing to follow their plan. And a lot of times, teachers, yeah. they like to teach. So you know the book, E-Myth Revisited? Right. You got to work on the business, not in the business. Yes. So Dan, what are things you do to help people avoid pitfalls and find what's right for them. You, how does your insider, your in, the the knowledge you have from doing sure. it for so long? Sure. Well, you know, we've got a very robust four-step uh, four research process. So it really starts with getting to know the individual. Mm -hmm. You know, what are your motivations? Why are you here? We have a proprietary assessment tool that folks complete. Mm -hmm. And that assessment gives me a sense of your transferable skills, your values, your interests, mm -hmm. your financial comfort zone, and that plays a big part in us helping them to match with the right franchise. Mm -hmm. um, the next step would be what we had just talked about is um, have them speak with 
six to ten franchisees. That's what we call the validation stage. Mm -hmm. That's such a critical part for them mm -hmm. to really determine that right franchise. The next step would be go meet with the franchisor. A lot of really good franchise companies will have what they call a discovery day. And you'll actually travel to their headquarters. You'll meet the founders. Right. You will meet the supporting team. You get a sense of do I really trust that they're going to help me be successful. And last I'll connect my clients with professional advisors. Could be SCORE, could be a franchise attorney that mm -hmm. will be looking at the um, agreements and making sure that they understand all the terms and conditions, a CPA, commercial realtor. All this is done with the spirit of helping them arm themselves with enough information mm -hmm. so that they can make the best decision. Awesome. Dan, thanks for being with us today. Yeah, pleased and to be here. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we will be back next week. Remember, SCORE wants to see the entrepreneur and the small business in Middle Tennessee succeed. Please check out the website, scorenashville.org. Um, the, there is no charge counseling available. We've got classes, and we'll see you next week.